Hey guys, Michael Kincaid. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this Mavic Air video. Just got this thing in about an hour ago. Just ch uh, charged up the batteries. And we are out here testing some features on this Mavic Air that has not been available on any other of their uh, DJI, DJI products. The APAS, the Advanced Pilot Assistance Systems, is what we're going to go over and kind of check out today. So on the bottom left of your screen here, go ahead and click it off. But that little triangle with the arrow through it, we'll go ahead and get the Mavic Air up in the air. But as you can see, the triangle on the bottom left corner, on the side left, is what activates the APAS system. So right now we have it off. It's not lit up blue, so we have it off. So we'll fly it straight into the fire pit, and it is off, so we should just get it to stop, which it does. And then if I back it up towards me, it'll stop. So we'll go ahead and turn it on now. Now it's been enabled, sorry for the beeping. But now we fly it straight forward and it's going up and over with no controller input as far as going up, down, left, or right. So let's check it out towards the uh, mailbox. Try to get up here out of the sun. So it's going straight towards the mailbox and it's flying. Oh. I let off the sticks, got a little scared of it there. All right, we're gonna back her up. Hopefully that sun glare is not too bad. Go straight into the mailbox. It's already moving around and beautiful. Okay, my perception was off, so I got scared and stopped that first one. All right, we're gonna head this thing straight towards me. And it automatically wants to go up. All right, now we'll try this tree and see if it goes around it. And it did just beautifully. And that internal storage is full and I've only been flying on one battery. So that's kind of good to know that it does have the internal storage, but it fills up pretty quick. I'm filming at 1080p, 60 frames a second on one battery. Of course, it's been sitting for a little bit, but still 47%. But anyhow, A-Pass, back to A-Pass. It is truly amazing. So fly it straight into this tree. No other inputs. It is already going around. Now I would be aware of doing this too many times. I would be a little leery of doing this towards trees with no leaves on them, just simply from the fact if you get a little branch sticking out there, it may or may not pick up on it. So by all means, be cautious and aware of that. All right, bringing the A-Pass. Trying it out right towards us. Got it about five foot off the ground. No other controller input. Awesome. It's already managing for terrain elevation, which is very cool. Back towards the mailbox, no other input, and it's going up and over. That is a freaking awesome feature. Let's see what it does with something a little larger, such as the camper. Will it go up and over the camper? Now I'm gonna watch it, because we got some limbs up here on top that it may not compensate for, but I'm just wanna see if it goes up and over. A passes on and it didn't know what to do with that big old thing. <laughs> but it may have been too close. So we'll back it up. See if it will sense our house. But right now it would fly right into the roof. See if it adjusts. And it is going up. It is going up by itself over the freaking house. All right. Sorry to sound super excited on this, but it is awesome technology. So Mavic Air, so far, the first 20 minutes of flight has been impressive. The rear facing vision sensors has is, is been a much needed tool, especially when you're doing active track. 
Obviously it's not gonna do anything there. It's just too close to the wall. I'm gonna try one more test here. Just kind of run it up towards the camper again at a little bit higher elevation. As you can see, it would go right into it and it's wanting to go around it, which is awesome. But I'm gonna turn it away because we do have some limbs over there. That is amazing. Hi right, guys, Michael Kincaid, first test for the Mavic Air. We're gonna do some range testing over at, uh, we're gonna do some range testing over at the lake, at Lake Chickamauga. See how far this little thing will fly. It's a Wednesday, not gonna be any traffic out there. Um, so hopefully that will be optimal conditions, won't be a lot of interference. So stay tuned, a lot more Mavic Air videos coming up. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.